The Laphroaig 10, one of the most hated and loved single malt scotch whiskeys. Welcome to another episode of Eric Wheat Whiskey Studies. And in this video, I'm going to do a review of the Lafroy 10 uh, Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. It's bottled at 40% alcohol by volume, 750 milliliters here in the United States. However, some bottlings in the UK and in Europe will be at 70 CL, which is about two ounces less, and it'll be at 40% alcohol by volume. So here in the United States, we get a little bit more whiskey and a little bit more alcohol in our bottle of Laphroaig 10. Now Laphroaig 10 is one of probably one of the most hated and loved <laughs> whiskeys, particularly when people are really, really new to whiskey and they perhaps just, you know, experience a neck pour. When I first tried this bottle, just from the neck, all I could get was smoke and ash and peat and iodine notes, uh, notes and, and uh, a lot of medicinal notes and it wasn't the most appealing. However, what this bottle taught me was you can't judge a whiskey by neck pour, and as you get past the neck into the shoulder, it really starts to open up. You get more savory notes, meaty notes, and you get this real nice uh, uh, chocolate and mint character. Reminds me of a York's peppermint patty. And yeah, it's got the sea breeze there. Uh, it's got some chocolate, some smoke, some campfire. Campfire that is perhaps has just gone out. It's got a lot of earthiness there, a little bit of tobacco, and those sort of uh, earthy characteristics. All right, on the palate. Mmm. Now, one of the things about Lafroig is they know people have very strong reactions to their whiskey. And they don't shy away with that. They're not apologetic about it. They lean into it and they even recommend, hey, bring a bottle for Thanksgiving over to your relative's house and just watch the expressions on their face. So they have invited uh, fans who really like it or perhaps don't like it to contribute their notes on the whiskey and they turn it into an advertising campaign. So here are some of the notes which you can actually get on a poster as well as my own impression of uh, the Lefroy 10 year old. Sublime beauty, take an old boot, burn it, soak it in seawater, it tastes like that but in a good way. Like drinking wet grass, a handful of dirt, and a hint of frog. The sweat of the sea, smoky peat and brine, accompany this symphony of numb. Awesome. If a Sharknado combined with the great Chicago fire, this whiskey would be the result, only with less death. Courtship blossoming, love in a conjugal act, all in one. What a ride. Or my personal description. So for only $40, this is a bottle I will always have on my shelf. For multiple reasons. One, one because I like it. Two, it's a great entryway into Lefroig. People who, you know, maybe a little shy of heated whiskeys, and you really want to sort of give them the full oomph of what a peated whiskey is all about. So I'll, you go, here, try this. And what the heck, it's only 40 bucks. And it's a whiskey that you can really take a little adventure on and going, you know, from the neck pour all the way down into the base. So my current bottle, uh, I don't know, got about a heel there, get pretty close to, to needing to finish this one off and get another one. However, if you like this one, a bottle that I'm really, really going to recommend is its big brother, which I have already reviewed, which is the Lefroy 10 Cast Strength. They released this in batches. This is batch 10, uh, bottled in January 2018. It's bottled at 58% alcohol by volume or 116 proof. So the ABV can vary from batch to batch to batch. But what I really, really like about this whiskey is what you have to sort of be patient for with the regular Lefroy 10, you know, for those more savory notes to come out, the cast strength has them straight up front. So I get like a barbecue note, definitely a lot of barbecue spices, barbecue rub. There's sort of a barbecue sauce. It's got the peat, it's got the smoke, it's got that little salty sea breeze. 
It's a really, really nice spices on it. Now, I've already given a full review of this, and if you're interested in seeing the full review, I'll put a link down below. Wow. But side by side, it's hard to believe that really the core difference between these, same cast, same anything else, is that this is, has been taken down to bottling strength, whereas this is at cast strength. Because in character, it seems like they're really two different whiskeys. Uh, I think the 10, when they bring it down to bottling strength, the smoke and briny and medicinal notes are uh, really left to show themselves even more. Whereas in the cash strength, more of those savory notes are, are remained. So I think taking it down to a bottling strength, down to 43% or 40% alcohol by volume, you're losing some of those savory, meaty, leather, and tobacco characteristics that you get in the Laphroaig 10 cash drink. So if you didn't like the Laphroaig 10, don't think that the uh, cash strength is just a bigger brother. In, in other words, just more of the same because it's, it's not. So I highly, highly, highly recommend getting your hands on a Laphroaig uh, 10 cash strength. And I'm curious to see what other batches are like. This is the only one that I've had thus far. I think the current batch will probably be either the 11 or the 12. This is the 10. So I want to get my hands on the next batch and see how they compare. So what would I give these in terms of a score? I'm going to give the regular 10, I'm going to give it 88 points. 88 points. But it's only $40. This is about twice the price. Um, and I'm going to go at least 92 points on this one. I think it, it definitely has enough complexity and enough layers of flavor and development to warrant going over 90 points. Alrighty, uh, that's it for this review. If you subscribe to this channel, I want to thank you very much. If you haven't yet subscribed, would you like watching my videos? I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe and you're going to want to ring the bell to be notified when I go live or post a new review. And until next time, cheers. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and check out these other whiskey videos.